Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, May 17th, 2022. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com and I am so excited to show you this card tonight. It is gorgeous. I just love it, love it, love it. And um, it may look familiar to some of you because I actually got the idea from the catalog. So I'll show you that in just a second. Let's let everybody get on here. And let me make sure I'm live. I think I am because I see a couple comments popping up. Let's see who's watching. Hopefully a lot of people are joining tonight. It was gorgeous here today. Finally the rain stopped and it was absolutely beautiful. It was 80 degrees, sunny, and a nice little breeze. It was just beautiful. So I wanted to go outside and do stuff, but I was inside stamping. But tomorrow, I am going to go outside and do stuff because I'm off tomorrow too. So I'm super excited. Hey, Laura. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Audrey. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Sherry. How is everybody doing? <laughs> Lynn, you just stopped planting flowers so you could join tonight. <laughs> I'm doing great. It was a great day. I went and ran errands this morning and... Uh, then went and saw my mother and then um, came home and started stamping for uh, tonight because I didn't have a project ready today. So <laughs> what's new? <laughs> hey, Ainika. Hopefully I said that right. Is that how you say it from the Netherlands? Wonderful weather. You had a barbecue earlier. Nice. I wish I could barbecue here, but I don't really know how to use the grill. Hey, Karen. All right, so if you're just joining, this is the card we're making. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on it. I sprayed it with shimmer paint, and I did Wink of Stella in the center. So it is super sparkly. Oh, I can see it. This is amazing how clear my picture is now. Can you guys hear me okay? Because um, on the last video, I noticed it crackled just a little bit sometimes. I don't know if maybe I got too close to the microphone or something, but I don't know. Um... Can you see that sparkle? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, Terry, you just got this set yesterday, nice. Hey, Brenda, hey, Kai Omega. I think it's Kathy, right? <laughs> Heather, hey, Heather. Audrey, love that card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, good, everybody can hear me good. The first, oh, the first syllable sounds like E as an eek. So Enika, it's Enika. Very good. Okay, so hopefully I said that right this time. All right, so this is where I got the idea, right here in the catalog. So here is my card, and here is the one in the catalog. So it's similar. I stamped mine in blue instead of, I think theirs was in black. And then I just changed a little bit of it, but I got the idea from that one right there. So look through the catalog. There's always nice um, ideas in there. I actually started with a different color and I was just sitting there doing it on blue. I'll show you that one. I did actually two. I started with this one and I didn't like it with their Bermuda Bay. So then I switched to balmy blue and I really liked the balmy blue, but then I went and looked in the catalog and I saw the gray one and I was like, oh, I think I like that gray better. So which one do you guys like better, the blue or the gray? And I colored it different too. Well, actually, I colored this one all the way, and this one I colored part way. So if you notice, the way that they colored it in the book, I tried to copy that. So they didn't color over those darker lines. So um, I tried to do it that way, too. It's kind of hard to not get all of them, but it gives you that differentiation. Differentiation, I think, is the word um, in the colors. So you get to see all the colors. So, whoops, I just threw my card in the box. <laughs> All right, so that's where I got this idea. And the paper and the stamp set are absolutely gorgeous. Here's the stamp set. It does come with matching dies. So you've got all the dies to cut it out. Oops, mine's sticking. Let's turn that over. I haven't finished cutting mine up yet. I just cut out the ones I needed. So you get all those dies with it. So that's awesome. And then this paper, let me show you this paper. It's absolutely beautiful. So you get, and I just looked through this paper today. I hadn't even really looked at it much. This is the piece we're using, which is in the very back, and it's got that on the other side. So that's the piece that goes right here. 
behind it. And then you've got this one that you can color, which is gorgeous. And then this one you can color. A lot of these you can color, but look at the back. Isn't that gorgeous? You don't even have to color that. Well, I mean, you could, but it's just beautiful. I'm gonna try the whitewash technique with this piece and see if it works. I don't know if it does or not, but we'll see. And that's the back. And then this one, you can color. Oh, look at that. So the back of this one has like, oh, vintage-y looking stuff. I might have to do something with that. This is my favorite piece. I thought this was absolutely gorgeous and I didn't even notice it. So I'm gonna have to do a card with this one. I don't even think you have to color really. It's just beautiful the way it is. So that's that one and that's then that's the same one that I used. So beautiful paper. And it's funny because I was looking for it today and this is the front piece. And I kept thinking this was the um, other pack of paper that's like all black and white. I think it's called penciled in or something. I thought it was that one and I kept going past it. I'm like, I know I have a pack of that Abigail Rose paper, but I <laughs> kept going right past it thinking it was the other one. All right, so um, also don't forget we've got the starter kit special going on right now. Let me read some comments. Um, love it when I find ideas from gray. I know, I love the gray. Oh, you guys like the blue too. Um, Debbie, you should get this bundle. It's really awesome. And you can see the sparkle, yay. Um, I tried it on crumb cake. I didn't like it quite as much, but um, I liked the gray a little bit better. Oh, you can even see it just laying right here. I can see the sparkle. <gasps> love it, love it, love it. Yes, that is Abigail Rose, Carla. Um, thinking about the starter kit only for the discount. You should do it for the discount. It's awesome. So you get for $99 and free shipping. So it's just $99 plus tax. Um, which around here is 6%. I'm not sure what it is where you live. So that's like a dollar five. I mean, a dollar five, $105. <laughs> so you get $125, whatever you want. So make your wish list. And then you also get this grid paper, kind of like this one. Um, you get a pack of the in color paper. You get the pack of designer series in color papers and all five new in color ink pads. So that right there is $66 worth plus the $125 worth plus you get a paper pumpkin and you get free shipping. So it's a great deal. It's only this month. I would love to have you sign up under me if you want to. And also I've got a special that is going on all month too. So if you spend at least $125, you'll get these three gifts. So the dots, the rhinestones, and a pack of DSP card fronts. And... Um, you also get this card kit. So this is the card kit for the next two weeks. So if you order $50 or more, you'll get three sets of card kits to make um, this card. So you can make three at home. And the one that I just finished, the one from May 1st through May 15th, I finally mailed out all of those. So there's they're in the mail. Some of you have already gotten them because I mailed some the week before, but... Um, that card kit was the one with the bottled happiness stamp set and it's like in the blues. So I, there is a video for it. So just go back. I did put a note in there with it telling you which video to go watch so you could get the tutorial. Um, but this is the next card kit. So for the next two weeks, this will be the card kit that you get. So I'll send you all the papers and the ribbon. And I was going to ask you guys what you thought of the ribbon because I couldn't decide whether I liked the ribbon or not. So do you like it better with that little bow or without? It's hard to tell without, but I couldn't decide. But once I stuck it on there, it was stuck, so I couldn't take it off. So I just love this card, though. I think it's so pretty. All right, so let's get started. So here's what you need. We've got five and a half by eight and a half gray granite and five and a quarter by four gray granite. A piece of five and a quarter by four white. This is for the inside of the card. Oh, which I didn't even show you. That's the inside. So you get both. And then the two little pieces are three by seven eighths um, Abigail Rose and two and a half by five eighths of white. So that's all you need. Plus a little bit of linen thread for the ribbon. And, oh, everybody likes it with the bow. Okay, so that's good, good, good. Um... Okay, 
Stampin' Up! has too many pretty flowers to choose from. I know it. I love it. Yeah. That, oh, perfectly penciled. That was the other pack. I don't know why I was thinking it was penciled something. I knew it was penciled something. But that the front of that pack looks almost exactly like the front of this pack. So I kept going past it thinking it was the other pack. And then I'm like, I know I have it. I can't, couldn't find it. So, all right. So let's take this off. So we're going to be stamping on this one first. This is the five and a quarter by four piece. And I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper right here. All right. So we're going to be using Starry Sky for our ink. And this is brand new. This is one of the new ink colors. So you're just going to ink it up really nice and gently. You don't want to get it all mushed in there. All right. And we're going to start like right here and just press it down. And there you go. And then we're just going to keep doing that until we cover the whole paper. So we're going to put another one like over here. And my block is filthy. I need to wash it. And then put a third one down here. Oh, I got a joke today too. And it is super funny. I already told it to a bunch of people and they thought it was hysterical. So I'm going to tell you that one in just a minute. And that's from Debbie Spicer, my pal that um, loves to send me fun stuff. And we're just going to fill in these parts with more um let's put some leaves on this one oops <gasps> did i just not ink that up oh my god <laughs> dang oh that looks bad maybe i should turn it over and start over see if i can match it up probably not but we'll see see if we can do it i doubt it because it's not clear oh it's not gonna match up darn i hate to ruin this card let me see Oh, I almost did it. Okay, we're just going to flip it over. I'm not going to have that messed up. All right, so take two. We're going to start over. Make sure I ink this up. I shouldn't talk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> or is it walk and chew gum? You can't walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't ever chew gum anymore. It's so funny. I used to chew gum all the time. Like, I am a major gum chewer. But then when COVID started and we had to start wearing masks, you can't really chew gum, you know? Cause I like to pop little bubbles and um, I couldn't do it wearing a mask cause I gotta wear it all day at work. Not that I ever chewed gum at work, but um, you know, I just like chewing gum. So I have not chewed gum in forever. I used to go through like a few packs a week, but I miss it. I miss chewing bubble gum. All right, and this one right here, I think I'm just gonna do like this part. So let's just put a few of those little ones right there. All right, so there we go. So that looks better than the other side that I messed up. That was pretty darn close though for being a um, rubber stamp. It's hard to get those lined up. Oh, I gotta do the inside, sorry, forgot. Let me get that scrap paper back. And we're just going to do one right on the bottom. So right here. Oops. Okay. So there we go. So there's our inside. So that'll go in the inside. This is our front. And we also need to do the words in the starry sky too. So that's the only ink pad you really need is the starry sky. And then the white craft, but you can use the refill, which is what I'm going to do. All right, I want to stamp this one all the way to the left. And hopefully you can see this. But, oh, darn it. <laughs> I just messed that up. Okay, well, we'll just turn it over. Good thing about that, you have two sides. All right, let's see if we can get this straight. Oh, that's a little bit crooked. Hold on hard to do it without being right on top of it. I did bring a spare. Hold on. I should have stamped one ahead of time. That way I'd really get it right. All right, I'm gonna pull this to me because I can't do it unless it's right in front of me, so hold on. And 
Hopefully this one is better. Okay, that one's better. All right, so take two worked better. And then we're done with the blue. I'm gonna read some comments real quick before we start coloring. So this is the only other thing you need is a white craft pad um, or the white ink refill, which is what I'm gonna be using. And I put it on here earlier and then I laid my um, stuff right on top of it. So my, my um, stamp set and I was like, dang it. <laughs> so then I put a paper towel on top. So that's why it looks like a paper towel. All right, so let's read some comments real quick. Hey, everybody. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, everybody said, with the bow, my favorite in color, instead of linen thread, might use Starry Sky Baker's Twine. Oh yeah, I forgot about that Baker's Twine. I don't even think I ordered that yet. Oh, Debbie Spicer says, no, I didn't send any jokes. <laughs> um. Well, you can tell if somebody's chewing gum with a mask because you can see your mask moving. Hate to be late, but the evening got away from me. Oh, hey, De hey, Amy. Hey, Carol. Oh, you're going to do a whitewash card for your next class. Oh, Enika. She didn't miss much. Of course, she missed all my talking. <laughs> all right. Nobody has ever stamped a perfect card. Um, yeah, I think I have stamped a perfect card. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to put some craft ink on here. You don't need a ton, just a little bit. All right, so this would last you like forever. I think I've had this one for like four years and still haven't used it all. So you can either use the ink pad and open it and smash it on here to get some ink or just put some on the block like that. And I'm going to tell you my joke real quick. So Debbie Spicer sent me this. It's really funny. All right, three old ladies were sitting at the dinner table discussing their problems about getting old. The first one said, Sometimes I catch myself with a jar of mayonnaise in my hand while standing in front of the refrigerator, and I can't remember whether I need to put it away or start making a sandwich. The second lady says, Yes, sometimes I find myself on the landing of the stairs and can't remember whether I was going on my way up or on my way down. The third one says, Well, ladies, I'm glad I don't have any of those problems. Knock on wood. And then she said, as she hit her knuckles on the table, she looked up and said, oh, that must be somebody at the door. I'll get it. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie Spicer, for that joke. I thought it was hysterical. All right, so what we're going to do is take our blender pen. And I brought two with me because one is a good one and one's not. And I couldn't remember which one was which. So we're going to start with one and hopefully that's the good one. So you're just going to take a little bit of ink in here. And what we want to do is color and try not to go over where the dark lines are. So we're just going to go like kind of around those lines a little bit. And I think this is the good one. So that's good. So we're just going to kind of fill this in all the way around. Did you guys like that joke? Um, hilarious. <laughs> why do you, why do we tell our daughters not to date tennis players? Because love means nothing. Oh, that's cute. Cute, cute. All right, so this is going to take a little while. I probably w should have like a um, fast forward button, um, but I don't to make it go faster. But we'll just sit and chit chat. So I did some research on my caterpillar thing, and I found out they're called tent caterpillars. So I was thinking it was bag worms or something or gypsy moths, but it's actually tent caterpillars and so they do make those uh tents or big bags in the trees and they do eat pretty much all of your tree and they're eating everything else out there too i put too much right here so i went out to plant some flowers yesterday and um i was getting attacked by them because Every five seconds, there was one like falling on me from a tree or just crawling on me. And I was like freaking out because I didn't notice it at first. And then it would be crawling on me. And all of a sudden, I would realize it's like on my arm or crawling up my leg. And I was freaking out. So I did buy some stuff to spray. And I brought a sprayer. And I hooked it all up, poured it in the 
um, sprayer and then the sprayer didn't work. So I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So I did everything the directions said. I poured it all in there and then I pumped it and pumped it until it got pressure. And then I pressed the um, sprayer and nothing happened. So I don't know what's wrong with it. So those suckers are still out there and I still have a bunch more stuff to do, but I didn't feel like um, getting attacked by them today. So I'm not kidding, they're, they're everywhere. They are like, there's a million of them. And they are like every single plant had probably like four or five up on there. And stuff that I was just planting, I'd plant something and turn around and there, there would already be on there. And I was like, oh my God. So I went and bought Vinca's today because if you are friends with me on Facebook, I posted pictures of my yard in progress. So I finished the front yard, but it's got um, pansies from the fall that I planted. The really purple, dark purple ones that are so gorgeous. And um, what happens as soon as it gets really hot, they start dying off. So I usually replace them with vincas, but I go ahead and plant the vincas like kind of next to them all. So by the time they die out a little bit, then the vincas will be like starting to bloom. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the leaves real quick while that's drying. All right, so the leaves I did, this is um, light grainy apple green. Um, I know, any kind of cobweb. If you rip open the tent, it allows the birds and natural predators to get them. Well, I haven't seen the tents yet, but right now they're like in the stage of just eating everything, I guess, so they can go into their hibernation or cocoon or whatever it is. But uh, they're disgusting. And I am not liking them. All right, so this is just the, the light grainy apple. We're gonna do all the leaves with that one. And then the little teeny flowers, I'm just gonna leave blue. So I think that looks really good with the gray. I thought this color looked really, really good with the gray. That's a lot of white on there. It's taken a while to dry. You can dab it off if you want to. If you just take a piece of scrap paper and tap it on there. Um, you can dab it off and it'll dry a little bit faster. But this card I thought was so gorgeous. I would have a lot of fun making it because I love the whitewash technique. It's actually one of my favorite techniques. And these distinctive um, stamp sets really work well with it. And I love coloring. When I was a kid, I would color for like hours and hours and hours. And my niece, she's like 20, how old is she? I think she just turned, actually her birthday was just um, like a week ago. She turned 22. So she just finished college and um, she loves to color. So I bought her a bunch of coloring stuff for Christmas and marker set and everything. And she's like amazing at it. She can do like all the shading and I think she gets her creative talent from me because her mother, my sister, has no creative um, talent at all. She does nothing really. <laughs> she doesn't even have to work. <laughs> That's what's so funny. My sister doesn't even have to work because she's like really rich and she, her husband has a super good job. So she just like does whatever she wants all the time. All right, so we're gonna go back to the whitewashing. So we're just gonna try and not hit the darker areas. And I think it looks so cool like that, don't you? I've got a little excess. So I think I'm gonna just tap it off just a little bit. Hold on. And that takes off a little bit, there you go. All right, so if you get a little glop, just put some paper on there and take it off. That's the only thing about trying to miss all these, um, the darker marks is you can't just like do the whole thing like I used to do. Sometimes I used to just go across the whole thing and do it real fast. So you can do that and then you get more of that other look. Well, I already put it away where the whole thing is done. 
and it looks good too. So I went to do uh, my car wash this morning because my car is filthy from carrying all that mulch and plants and everything in it. It had a lot of like dirt and stuff in there. So I said, I'm going to go get the car wash today. So I go to the car wash and um, after you go through the car wash, then you can pull up and you can vacuum for free. And so there was hardly anybody there, but there was um, only one shady spot left. So I go pull into the shady spot and I get out because it was already starting to get a little bit warm. And I start vacuuming my car and I'm looking at the guy next to me and he's a really cute guy. And um, he was like detailing his whole car. I mean, it was, it was looking so good. And I thought, you know, my car is about eight years old now. And uh, I mean, it still looks okay, but it's, I have a Kia Sorento, like a SUV. And he had like a, I don't know, Chrysler or something. Really, really nice car. And it was so shiny and brand new looking. And so I got out and I said, I said, when you finish your car, can you do mine too? And <laughs> he starts laughing. He goes, uh, I mean, I, th I think he thought I was serious because I was just kidding because I knew he wouldn't do it, but, um, he's like, um, I really don't have time, and I started laughing, I said, I was just kidding, I said, I would make you do that, I said, although I would pay you if you wanted to do it, and, um, he started laughing, and he goes, it's a great day to be out here, and he said, I'm sick of all that rain, and so we were just talking for a few minutes, and then, um, I went back to vacuuming, and then he said, you know what, he said, it sure is nice to have somebody really nice um, to talk to. And he said, lately it seems like everywhere I go, everybody's in a bad mood. And he said, you're just so nice and pleasant and friendly. And I said, I sure am. <laughs> I started laughing. He started laughing. It was just so funny. He said, if everybody could be like you, the world would be so much better. I was like, well, thank you. I appreciate that. But it was just nice. It's nice to be nice to people, you know? Because everywhere you go, it's like nobody wants to make eye contact or speak. or. And I always, like, start talking to people in the grocery store or wherever I go. You know, I try to, you know, hold the door open for people and just be nice. You never know. And now it's nice because, you know, hardly anybody's wearing a mask. So you can actually see people smiling again. So that's nice because for a while it's like you couldn't even hardly tell if somebody was smiling at you or not because unless their eyes were squinty and then you could tell. All right, so we're halfway done. And I meant to give away some cards tonight and I just forgot. So next time, I think next time I'm gonna do the other half of that kit, the heart and home kit that I started I did half of it and did the big cards and never finished the smaller cards. So I'll do that on the next video on Thursday. I have to work Thursday, so that'll be good. So that'll be a nice, easy one. And I'll give away the cards um, then. I need to go get a new mattress. I was laying in bed the other night and I'm like, man, you know how like when your mattress, I think mine's about seven or eight years old now. You know how like... I've been single this whole time, so, I mean, I've dated a few people, but not for very long, really. So, my my bed, it sinks, like, on the side that I sleep on, and I've turned it, you know, like, um, it's a pillow top, so you can't flip it, but you can turn it, like, uh, 180 degrees. So, I did that when I moved in this house. That's been a couple years, but um, now both sides, except for the very center, both sides kind of sink sink down in and uh it's starting to hurt my back a lot so I need to go get a new mattress and I hate going to mat mattress store because you know when you walk in there's like nobody's in there and you're the only person usually and then the guy whoever's working sometimes it's like a creepy guy <laughs> and they just walk around the store with you and I don't know I just hate shopping for mattresses but I really need a new one. And I like my new phone. And hopefully it's still working good. Can you um, guys still hear me and see me really, really well? 
Oh, let me read some of these. Maybe your sister should gift you some time. I know it. My sister, you know, it's so funny. She's loaded. I mean, she's like millionaire rich, but she is the, the, like, it's crazy how tight she is with her money. Like for Christmas one year, you know how when you buy those um, Clinique and Lancome and Ulta and they give you these gift, um, free gifts in the little um, cases and stuff. And you get like a little makeup bag with all these free gifts. That's what she gave me for Christmas. So she had bought a ton of stuff for herself from like Ulta and Lancome and Clinique. And she gave me the little free gifts from all of them. And I thought, wow. <laughs> and I spent like $100 on her gift. And I thought, I cannot even believe as much money as she has and she spends, you know, money on herself like crazy. But as far as buying gifts for other people, oops, I just got my finger all in that. She's very tight. And I think, you know, if I was that other way around and I was the one who had a lot of money, I would be so generous because I'm, I'm very generous anyway with, I mean, I'm not rich by any means, but I'm always doing stuff for like my friends at work and, you know, taking in like candy and cupcakes and um, little gifts for everybody at work, and, um, it just cracks me up, because I'm thinking, she's just so stingy, so, I don't know, and then I work, you know, I'm the opposite, I work so hard, and always have, she never even had a job, like, when we were in high school, I had to have a job all the time, she never even had to work at all, because it was the same way, she was like a cheerleader, and my parents were like, oh, well, she's doing this and this and this, so she doesn't have time for a job. I'm thinking, whatever. <laughs> I had a job because I didn't have time to do all that because I had to have a job. It's just crazy, but I think I'm better off for it because I've got good work ethics and I'm a hard worker. And I think because of that, I'm doing fine being single and I can take care of myself without any help from anybody. And I think if it was the other way around, she would not be able to do that. She would be in big trouble if it was her single. All right, we're almost done. Let me read some comments real quick. Loud and clear, great, great, great. Lynn says, one year in my 20s, long time ago, my in-laws gave me crayons and a coloring book for Christmas as a joke. <laughs> Because my husband told them I like to color too. It was sort of embarrassing. Oh, thank you, Carol. Um, oh, Audrey, you're so sweet. She said we need to make clones of Lisa Freeman. <laughs> you are so sweet. Oh, let me see. <laughs> Wait until the jumping worms come to Virginia. What is a jumping worm? Oh, my God. Don't even tell me. Yes. Oh, Enika, um, vincas are, well, they're not like weeds, but I love vincas. They, they, um, I plant them in my flower beds and they do kind of take over, but that's all I, I have hostas and then vincas and then a little bit of elephant ears and some rose bushes and, but they look so beautiful. Um, but you know, they're only good for a few months. You plant them like now and they'll last until it gets cold, but by the end of the summer, they look so beautiful because they're really full and um, they fill out really nicely. Oh, let me finish reading comments. Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> Debbie says, Lynn, I'd take it as a compliment and say, gosh, thank you for liking my art so much that you're letting me know I should start again. <laughs> I know mattress shopping is the worst. Uh, I hate it. Lisa Freeman is a clone. The real Lisa is at a party. What? <laughs> yes, the real Lisa is right here. You're silly. Um, oh, I was getting ready to say something. Now I forgot. Uh, shoot. Oh, I was going to tell you. My in-laws one year. So when I was still married, we had this tradition with my ex-husband's family that you picked names. And you had a $50 spending budget of whoever you got, you know, whichever person you got the name for. So we always hated it because I buy really nice gifts when we do that kind of thing. 
And I usually, what I do is say if the limit's $50, I'll go buy something that was, say, $80 and I get it on sale for $50. So it's usually like even a better gift because it was even more expensive, but I got it on sale for $50. But they do the opposite and they would go get something that's still a little bit wet. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. I love it. <laughs> I'm looking at the screen. Oh my gosh, my video is like so clear. I love it. Yeah, that was my sister's gift to me. Uh, yeah, it was lame. Um, loud and clear. I'm so excited. Um, let me see. Oh, so anyway, let me tell you the story about that. So one Christmas, this was probably the worst ever. Um, so I had one of the um, sister-in-laws. So I got her a set of bath towels, you know, like the bath towel and the the smaller hand towel and the washcloths and everything. Really, really nice plush towels. Really, really nice gift. And she had me, do you know what she gave me? It was a little vase, like that comes free when you order flowers for somebody and you get a little clear vase and it had dead bugs in the bottom of it. So I thought, oh great. So she just pulled this out of her cabinet that she's had for like 10 years and uh, gave it to me. And then my ex-husband's sister gave him a Chia Pet. <laughs> and we went home like, you have got to be kidding me. That was like the worst gift from them. And then another year I got little, um, you know those little spreader things you get to for dips and stuff? They're like, they look like little mini knives. So one of his sisters gave me a set of those. They were like little gingerbread. They still had the price tag on the bottom of them from TJ Maxx, and they were like $7.95, but here's the kicker. They were used. So when I opened them, and you could tell because the box was like really, really banged up. And so I'm thinking she either got it from a garage sale or they were hers, and they were used. They still had food on them. And I'm like, you, you just have got to be kidding me with these gifts. So this goes on the inside. So that was the one of the best things about getting divorced was never having to see my husband's, my ex-husband's family again. Because I tell you what, they were horrible. And his um, mother, if any of y'all ever watched Everybody Loves Raymond and Marie on Everybody Loves Raymond, that was my ex-mother-in-law. She was just like that. And I was Deborah, and he was Raymond. <laughs> and... and his mother, oh my gosh, it just drove me crazy. She would always make these little comments all the time. Drove me in, insane. And then I would tell him, I'd be like, do you know what your mother said? Oh, I want to rip this a little bit. Okay, so we're going to rip that and try not to cover too much of our stuff. So I just taped that down, and that's the little piece from the Abigail Rose paper. And then I'm just going to tear this end a little bit too. I've got white ink all over me. And we're going to put this one on with dimensionals. So that one. So she used to make all these comments about me like, you'd be so pretty if you just lost some weight. Or um, you're so lucky to have Chris, that was my ex-husband, for a husband because he's such a good catch. <laughs> and I'd be like, like, what am I, chopped liver or something? It just made me so mad. But... Anyway, that's gone, so I'm much better off without him. All right, so we've got a couple pieces of linen thread, and these are about, um, let me see, I don't even know. Let me get my ruler out. These are six, seven, eight inches. So two pieces of eight inches long ribbon. So you'll get all this in your kit if you do your $50 order or more. You're welcome to order more. You'll get three sets of all of this. And then if it's $125 or more, you'll get the kit plus the other stuff. So just pull these. And when I send you the ribbon, I send you enough to make three of these bows and it'll be all like one piece. So you'll just get a big long piece that you can, because it's easier to make these on the roll sometimes. Well, not the double one, but a regular bow. All right, so then let's trim these little tails here. 
and we're gonna stick that on with the glue dot. And then we're gonna do some Stella, winking with Stella. And I have not given up my Stella. She's still one of my favorites. All right, so I'll put it on like that, right in the corner. I think I need to trim it just a little bit more. All right, so now for the shimmer. All right, so Wink of Stella, we are going to do just on the center here. And oh my gosh, can you see it sparkling? Oh, so beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. And do some, I should have done this before I put the bow on. And a little bit over here. All right, so there we go with the center. Can you see that sparkle on there? Let me read some comments real quick. I like you better in life will give you blessings. <laughs> I love you, Debbie Spicer. <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. Do you need a barf bag when you... <laughs> Yes, Brandy, I did. <laughs> every time I had to, we had to spend every single holiday, every single, everything at her house, my ex-mother-in-law's house. It didn't matter if it was Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Mother's Day, Father's Day, every single everything we had to go over there. And that used to just make me so mad because I could never just stay home and enjoy myself. All right, let me spray this with some shimmer. So that's my story. Oh, gosh, I love this. Love this spray. All right, so there we go. Can you see the sparkle? I love it, love it, love it. Yay, Stella. Oh, Sherry, you're so sweet. When did you add blue? What do you mean, when did I add blue? Um, Laura, I stamped it in blue. So these are all stamped in Starry Sky. So I stamped um, the whole thing in blue. So I didn't add any blue. I just stamped the original in blue and then colored it. Um, let me see if I missed any. Heather says, we do white elephant gifts sometimes at Christmas. My brother actually gave me a white elephant piggy bank. Oh, I know it's bad, especially when you have like a, a, a gift amount that you're supposed to spend and somebody spends like $5. Yes. Oh my gosh, my girlfriend was really rich. What did she give me for Christmas? A water glasses she got for free from buying gas. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, Annie says, after my husband got hurt, he couldn't get comfortable with an old mattress. At the mattress store, my daughter and I were looking and we turned around and my hubby was sound asleep on one. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, I wish I could have re-gifted that, but unfortunately I will never see them again, I don't think, until... My daughter gets married in October, and then I'm going to be stuck seeing all of them again, which I dread. But, um, yes, that is, oh, thanks for the reminder for the whitewash technique. I love this technique. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I think I got most of the comments. Um, I never heard back about the jumping worms. Hopefully they will never come here because I cannot stand bugs. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you loved this card. And I'm so glad it comes in so clear now and you can see the sparkle. I love it. It's like um, QVC with the Diamondique when you can see it when they, they show it to you and it just sparkles. It's so gorgeous. Love it, love it. And it really makes that blue pop when you put the um, Wink of Stella on there. I love it. Has anybody bought the Butterfly Kisses bundle? I have not bought that one. Oh, Sherry, thank you. <laughs> I know, that's why I need to lose a bunch of weight too. Oh yes, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Um, don't forget, I'm gonna um, do the editing first though. That's the only bad thing is um, I turn it on private just for a few minutes, edit it, and then turn it back on. And when I do that, I have to save it as a new video and it takes away all the likes and comments and stuff so um i hope you come back and give me a thumbs up later and leave a comment and all that stuff so i'll be turning it off just for like 15 minutes and then turn it back on and you guys have a great night i'll see you thursday and i'll be doing the rest of the card kit the one that i had this one remember this one from um like a week or two ago 
So we'll be doing the other half of those and I'll be giving those away. Don't forget, order whatever you want. For $50 or more, you'll get the kit to make three of these and $125 or more gets the kit plus the free other gifts, the rhinestones and stuff. So I'll see you in a couple days. You guys take care.